Mark Harmon truly hated her. NCIS is approaching its 19th season as a top-rated naval drama in 2021, but despite its success, the program's had its fair share of set turmoil, leading to a few performers fleeing and never looking back. You may be confident that, for the time being, Mark Harmon will continue to play special agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs on the program. After watching this video, you'll have to decide if that's a good or bad thing. But it seems that who remains and who goes in the rest of the ensemble is up for dispute. Zoe McClellan as Meredith Brody Meredith Mary Brody, played by Zoe McClellan, is an NCIS senior special agent with a history in interrogation and a black belt in Aikido. McClellan joined the cast of NCIS in season 11 in 2014 and later starred in the spin-off series NCIS New Orleans. She quit after just two seasons in 2016, ostensibly owing to a creative decision, but the exact reason she left turned out to be a little more contentious. Why Zoe McClellan Left the Show Years later, former showrunner Jeffrey Lieber revealed that the show's higher-ups placed him under pressure to dismiss Zoe McClellan and that at first he didn't understand why they wanted her gone, given that he and the public were continuously pleased with her performance. He then said that one of the execs acknowledged that they didn't like her and wanted her to go. Lieber was sacked from the program and replaced by someone else, who was subsequently fired some years later, apparently for even more chauvinist behavior against women. Cote de Pablo as Ziva David Cote de Pablo was a regular cast member on NCIS for eight seasons, portraying Ziva David. When de Pablo's character was killed off the program in 2013, she indicated that she wasn't ready to discuss the reasons behind the decision. As far as my decision to leave, that's a personal thing, and I'd rather leave it at that, she told TV Guide shortly after leaving. But Ziva was not killed off, giving supporters hope that she may return in the future. Why Cote de Pablo Left the Show I didn't leave because I wanted to, because I was prepared, or because I was tired. I didn't have much of a choice, de Pablo told USA Today. She claimed in a 2016 interview that she departed the program because she didn't agree with the way producers were taking her character. Look, I really like this character. I spent eight years creating and adoring this character. So if I thought or saw that the character was not being handled with the respect she deserved, no amount of money could make me remain. To confuse things further, De Pablo then denied her words, saying they were taken out of context and that she's still not ready to discuss why she left. So at the end of the day, your guess is as good as ours. Michael Weatherly as Tony Denozzo. On NCIS, Michael Weatherly portrayed Special Agent Tony Denozzo for 13 seasons and 305 episodes. He also appears in the NCIS Los Angeles and NCIS New Orleans spinoffs. His character is the senior field agent of the major case response team, and he's recognized for being an extroverted former athlete with a charming attitude that allows him to undertake covert work and deal with disagreement within the agency successfully. Weatherly and his character were fans of the program, so what made him decide to leave? Why Michael Weatherly Left the Show Weatherly startled NCIS fans in January 2016 when he announced his departure from the program. I will miss the amazing crew and cast who are like family to me, he said, and to all of our fans around the world, thank you, it's been a fantastic ride. He subsequently claimed that he'd been wanting to venture out and play different roles, and that he believed it was a good moment to leave the program. It wasn't long until he landed his next major acting role, proving that he made the right choice. Polly Perrette as Abigail Scudo For an astonishing 15 seasons, Polly Perrette's character, pigtailed forensic scientist Abby Scudo, was a fan favorite on NCIS. She was even featured in four episodes of NCIS Los Angeles and NCIS New Orleans, the show's spinoffs. Abby was such a popular role that Perrette rose to prominence as one of the most popular actresses on American primetime television in 2011. Her enormous popularity only added to the shock of her departure in 2018. Here's what occurred on set that prompted her to quit the program for good. Why Polly Perrette Left the Show 
Polly Perrette allegedly had a lot of squabbles with co-star Mark Harmon, to the point where the two sought totally distinct filming schedules. The conflict began in 2016 when Harmon's dog attacked a crew member, causing them to be hospitalized. In response, Perrette was outspoken about Harmon not bringing the dog back on the set since it was making the rest of the cast and crew uncomfortable. Then, in 2019, Perrette said on Twitter that she was afraid of Harmon and had bad dreams about him. Needless to say, she made clear with fans that she would not be returning to the program. Adam Jamal Craig as Dominic Vale When you're on a program like NCIS, you have to be continuously conscious that your character might be killed off. That's precisely what happened to Adam Jamal Craig, shown here, who portrayed rookie agent Dominic Dom Vale on the spin-off NCIS Los Angeles and was meant to be a series regular. Dom featured in the first 13 episodes before being kidnapped, putting his role on pause. Here's why the show's producers made that choice. Why Adam Jamal Craig Left the Show Shane Brennan, the show's executive producer, seems to have a wicked sense of humor. He just had Dom murdered off the program in order to keep the viewers guessing. I'm a big believer in playing with people's expectations, he says. I want them to understand that nothing is sacred to me. And the cast is aware that I am playing this game. Nobody is secure. That type of attitude might easily lead to a hostile set atmosphere, but Adam Jamal Craig handled it in stride, saying that although he had big hopes for Agent Vale, he still had complete trust and respect in Brennan's vision for the characters and the world he created. Lauren Holly as Jenny Shepard Lauren Holly portrayed director Jenny Shepard, who appeared on the program for three seasons from 2005 to 2008. Interestingly, Holly was pleased with the job being just a six-episode commitment since it meant she could spend time with her family. When the show's producers chose to retain Holly as a regular, Holly and her family packed their belongings and relocated from Chicago to Los Angeles, where they stayed for two years. Why Lauren Holly Left the Show Holly has said that although she enjoyed her time on NCIS and made many friends, she did not agree with the new creative team that was brought on board. I was saddened that NCIS co-creator Don Belisario was forced out, and I missed him a lot, she said on her website. Holly also acknowledged being tired with her role as director, stating, To be honest, now that the work bug had bitten me again, I got bored with my part of the director. Needless to say, she wasn't pleased to learn that her character was murdered off. Sasha Alexander as Caitlin Todd Sasha Alexander portrayed Special Agent Caitlin Todd until the Season 2 finale. She was such an important character that the whole premiere episode in 2003 was centered on her joining the NCIS squad. She left the program as a full-time cast member after Season 2, and in Season 3 she was billed as a guest star in a two-part episode before deciding to depart permanently. Emily Wickersham as Ellie Bishop Ellie Bishop, an NSA analyst, played by Emily Wickersham, first appears in Season 11. She's presented as an Oklahoma rural girl whose employer refers to her as a reclusive data freak. The character also enjoys food and is often seen eating snacks at her desk, stating that she links certain memories with the food she was eating at the time. Wickersham stayed with the program for an astonishing eight seasons until deciding to leave the show after the Season 18 finale. Why Emily Wickersham Left the Show Allie Bishop was fired from the program when she went on a covert solo underground assignment. It's unclear why Emily Wickersham wished to be written off, but she seems to have departed on good terms, given that her character was not killed off. Perhaps she was merely seeking other acting possibilities, since she thought the character had become boring after eight years. But considering that she left the door unlocked after leaving, may she return in future episodes? Dwayne Henry as Clayton Reeves Clayton Reeves, a British MI6 intelligence operative, was portrayed by Dwayne Henry. His character originally featured in Season 13, but appeared as the major character in Season 14, often coming up with facts relevant to the case at hand. As a newcomer to Los Angeles, Henry was forced to couch surf when he initially began the position. When co-star Polly Perrette found out, she gave him a place to stay at one of her homes. Why Dwayne Henry Left the Show Dwayne Henry left the stage in the most sincere manner conceivable. 
His character is killed off after two seasons while attempting to rescue Perrette's character, Abby. To be wrapping up with her was incredible, a dream come true for anyone, he told TV Line. The character was developed by showrunner Gary Glassberg, who died while the program was still in production, leaving the actors, particularly Henry, in the dark about where the character would go next. When he passed, I saw a little panic in people's faces, Henry remarked. Miguel Ferrer as Owen Granger On NCIS Los Angeles, Miguel Ferrer portrayed assistant director Owen Granger. He appeared as a recurrent character in seasons 3 and 4, then as a major character from season 5 through season 8. When Ferrer was diagnosed with throat cancer in real life, the show's creators integrated his illness. Granger eventually has difficulty speaking and his health deteriorates, mirroring Ferrer's condition in real life as a result of the cancer. Given Ferrer's reputation for his voice, it all felt like a cruel twist of destiny. Why Miguel Ferrer Left the Show Miguel Ferrer died in 2017, yet his memory will be carried on via the program. He was known for his dedication and contributions to acting, and even continued to play Owen Granger until his death. The most important thing to Ferrer was working, said R. Scott Jemmel, executive producer of the program. He loved the craft and worked constantly, even when we didn't want him to. Lucas Black as Christopher LaSalle Senior Special Agent Christopher LaSalle, played by Lucas Black, went on to feature in more than 140 episodes of the spin-off NCIS New Orleans. The former University of Alabama mascot and magna cum laude winner soon became a fan favorite, so fans were naturally upset to find that the character was killed off in Season 6. Why Lucas Black Left the Show The show has been so good to me over the years, exceeding my expectations and goals, Black stated in an official video message released to the NCIS Twitter page. But this work is not so simple for me. There are many things in my life that must be sacrificed in order for me to be here. But now is the moment for me to prioritize my life. While that was Black's official comment, some outlets speculated that he may have left to concentrate more on his parts in the Fast and Furious series. Jennifer Esposito as Alex Quinn Jennifer Esposito only appeared in 24 episodes of season 14 as Alex Quinn. We couldn't be happier to have Jennifer Esposito joining us for season 14, NCIS executive producer Gary Glassberg remarked. She embodies everything we hope for in the character of Quinn, and we can't wait for her to join our team. Then, in a shocking move for fans, she was written off the show in the 2017 season finale. Why Jennifer Esposito Left the Show Rumors started to circulate that Esposito had quit NCIS owing to health issues relating to a celiac disease diagnosis. Her character on the program Blue Bloods was written off after 46 episodes because she was only able to work on a limited part-time schedule, according to the network. Fans assumed it was because of her health, but Esposito later told Dr. Drew that she resigned because the network required her to work more hours than she agreed to in her contract. So who's telling the truth? Here's what caused Polly Perrette and Mark Harmon's fallout. Polly Perrette's departure from NCIS and spat with Mark Harmon might be a TV show NCIS co-stars fought about a dog bite. Perrette quit CBS after 15 years due to a dog bite. Harmon's dog, Dave, bit a crew worker who needed 15 stitches. The rap said Harmon returned the dog after the assault, which upset folks. Harmon's the star and executive producer. Perrette complained about the dog to network executives. The ex-NCIS star's dog concerns prompted the breakup. Fans discovered that Perrette and Harmon had not filmed together in two years. Perrette's departure from the series continues to leak. She declared she'd never guest appear on NCIS again in 2019. Perrette wrote, No, I am not coming back ever. Stop asking. Harmon's assault terrifies me. It's a nightmare. Perrette removed a tweet claiming she was physically assaulted and lost my job for speaking out, according to Vanity Fair.